Good Saturday morning. It is 614. We have an early warning weather alert that's really in effect for some of us. I don't think everybody's going to be impacted by what we're talking about, and that's this. Late tonight and into early tomorrow morning, we're going to have a weather system coming in that's going to be bringing in a little bit of a wintry mix to some of the state, especially in northwestern Connecticut, Hartford Northwest, especially in Hart northwest of Hartford is where we're thinking that we would see that. Uh, southeast of Hartford probably going to start off as rain and stay that way. But then during the day tomorrow, very early in the morning, in fact, I think for most of us, if we are seeing any of any bit of an icy mix, it's going to change to plain rain. And then it's plain rain for all of us, I think by nine or 10 o'clock in the morning. And then the rest of Sunday is going to be a lot milder. In fact, temperatures could get in the lower 50s with a lot of rain around. And then once we get into Monday, a cold front's gonna come through and that's going to bring in a lot of wind and colder weather. In fact, Monday could be so windy, we could have some isolated power outages. But in the shorter term, we do have this issue with some wintry precipitation, and you can see how there is a winter weather advisory for just northern Litchfield County. Most of us are not included in this, though some of the models say there'll be enough cold air banked a little bit in more of Connecticut than that, that there could be a few areas that just see a few hours of an icy mix in areas outside that zone. When we take a look at the amount of accumulation we might see in terms of sleet and freezing rain, you can see what the latest model run has done. It's saying just northwest of Hartford, essentially from the Farmington Valley northwest, there'd be a pocket of this for a while. And again, it'd be sometime around midnight tonight and into the morning hours tomorrow. Probably the final event would probably end at around 9 or 10 in the morning. But it's also painting on this area up here, parts of Summers, Stafford, maybe into Union as well, might see some pockets of it as well. So notice who's excluded, Hartford, Enfield, along the shoreline, Waterbury, and also Willimantic. At least according to this, wouldn't see much accumulation of this at all. There might be an hour or two where we see some sleep pellets farther south from that depiction, but I think for the most part, it's an area of just far northern Connecticut, northwestern Connecticut that's going to be impacted by that. And as I said, the rest of Sunday is just fine. It's just rainy at times and milder with temperatures running in the 50s. Monday, as we said, is very windy. Tuesday still breezy, but partly sunny and quite cold. Tuesday really is sharply colder with temperatures only in the 20s to near 32 along the shore. And then there's some question as to whether or not we're going to have a system coming in on Wednesday and giving us snow then. Uh, so some of the models are saying yes, some of the models are saying no. So it's something that we're watching and we've included in the forecast just in case. But in the shorter term, if you're wondering where our rain and icy mix is coming from, it's this system here, which incidentally is also going to create perhaps some severe weather uh, through parts of northern Mississippi and in towards southern Tennessee and northwestern uh, parts of Alabama. This area might see some longer track tornadoes, in fact. So it's getting to that early spring season for the deep south for severe weather there. But for us, we wait on the storm today with temperatures running in the upper 30s and lower to mid 40s. We'll see variably cloudy skies today. And then tonight is when we think we're going to have that little interlude of an icy mix, especially northwest of Hartford and maybe in some of the areas in northeastern Connecticut as well with temperatures pretty close to freezing in those areas.